Hal Hu on his three angle document stated that a cue ball object ball relationship could always be 15, 30, or 45, and that is true. Hal also stated in his document that a cue ball has two edges for aiming, a left edge and a right edge. Also, uh, an object ball has three aim points. I refer to them as A, B, C, left to right. In a previous video, I discussed the critical lines on the geometry of a table, the 15 degree line. The 15 degree line actually is an extremely strong reference as a two rail bank or kick to that pocket. The four rail 30 degree line here is a very strong geometric route reference to that corner pocket. And then the 45 degree line is uh, a direct route to that 90 degree corner. Well, if you change the geometry of the table, you know, move the pockets around, change the two by one size, these 15, the, the 15, 30, and 45 degree lines are disturbed. So you, you really don't have a geometrical table at that point. The perceptions of center to edge Pro 1, 15, 30, and 45 connect with a regulation table. So if you change the perceptions, the system doesn't work. If you change the pockets location or if you change the table size, the system doesn't work. Now, there's been a lot of controversy concerning uh, that three angle document and I'm just going to highlight that with a couple of examples here. If I, if I take this slight left cut and in laser like fashion aim the left edge of the cue ball to this first quarter and then if I were to go straight in and shoot this shot as is suggested uh, as if it's a quarter ball or a contact point. Well, I wouldn't make the ball. I would miss it to the left. But if I take if I take the edge of the cue ball, the left edge of the cue ball and aim it to that aim point and move in as natural as I could, then I would actually make the ball. If I moved in natural, the natural movement makes it. The unnatural movement of moving straight in does not connect. I could take the ball and move it over here as a slight right cut and just reverse this right edge to C and if I move straight in to center ball once again I'm going to miss it to the right but there is a natural movement that connects there's there's the, in laser like fashion I have the right edge of the cue ball to C and this is not what you do in center to edge aiming but I have the right edge of the cue ball to C. Now if I just naturally shoot this ball from here, as natural as I know how, I'm going to make the ball. Essentially what happened there was I was set up on a 15 degree perception for each of those shots. And the perception that I had for each of those cuts were followed by a left or a right sweep and I connected with the pocket. You see that document has a missing piece or two. A couple of pieces that are missing and, and therein lies the controversy. But what I want to do is I, I'm not going to uh, teach the unique perceptions of CTE Pro 1 here. I'm not going to teach the pivots or the sweeps what I want to do is just give you some basic underlying information of where, uh, of how the numbers 15, 30, and 45 were derived. You know, this is a system that came about and it was never meant to be. The, 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 the discovery of the connection between the table and the perceptions was not supposed to happen. It happened because there's a lot of work done once upon a time and, and, and the discovery came about. It came to be. Now, let's, let's just take a basic look at why we have 15 versus 14 or 14 point whatever in the quarter system. If I take this ball and, and, and just 
face it this way, and then the cue ball is directly in line with the aim points of the ABC. I know that in the quarter system, if I take the center of the ball and just move this slightly to the left and butt it right up to the left aim point here, to the best of my ability, and then I stand back from the center of the object ball, which is proper in CTE Pro 1, I notice that the right edge of the cue ball overlaps that right quarter. This is a characteristic of what happens when we set up this uh, three-quarter ball hit in the quarter system. So the right edge of the cue ball is slightly overlapping that right aim point. So I know that this is a 14 degree uh, three-quarter ball hit. So how could I create a 15 degree perception or a 15 degree hit? I could take I could take this cue ball and move it slightly to the left, moving the center slightly left of this A aim point, and then as I go back to my perspective here, I'm trying to move this just as minutely as I possibly can, and it's rocking back on me. Okay, that's better. Now, as I go back to directly behind the object ball, the right edge of the cue ball is perceived directly to C. So my visual intelligence is telling me that's a 15 degree perception. I know it's not a 14 because the center is slightly to the left of that first quarter. So that, that, slight, that slight movement, that slight movement, and then from this perspective, I'm 100% in line, right edge of the cue ball to C. So when I have the cue ball back here, and I see the right edge of the cue ball as perceived to that right aim point or that right quarter, my visual intelligence is telling me that the cue ball object ball relationship is 15 degrees. That doesn't mean I'm on a 15 degree angle. It might be close in some instances, but that angles are invisible. I can't see angles, but I can understand perceptions. And the way I read this perception when I have the right edge of the cue ball to see is that's a 15 degree perception. Now, once again, if I just aim the right edge of the cue ball to see, the system's not going to work. There's more to it than that. We've got, center, we've got the center to edge variable. We have the pivot variable, so there's more to it. I'm just looking at the underlying basic angle information, which uh, uh, can be very important for some people in their study of center to edge aiming. Now, as far as the 30, as far as the 30 uh, degree perception, that's an easy one. We know that in the quarter system, center to edge gives us a, a half ball overlap, a half ball hit, a 30 degree angle that also has the right edge of the cue ball aimed up at the middle of the object ball or B. So when I bring this back and I perceive the right edge of the cue ball to be my visual intelligence is telling me that's a 30 degree perception. Now in CTE Pro 1, you've got to tweak that up a certain way in order for it to be uh, effective so that when you have your sweep or your pivot, you connect with your angles. Uh, the 45 degree perception. I'm going to take the object ball and place it on the head spot, which places the object ball on this 45 degree line between the corner and the side pocket. So the 45 degree number, perception number, is used for a reason. Uh, not the 49 degree number that is the quarter ball hit in the quarter system. If I were to take this cue ball and do a one quarter ball overlap with the left edge of the cue ball butted up to the right aim point, then I'm not connected with the geometry of the table here. 
it's the 45 degree perception that connects with the geometry of the table. If I, if I take the cue ball and face this ball here, and this is something else too, I can't see angles, but anytime I have a, a, a ball that, uh, I mean, it's, it's not very often that I actually get this shot, but anytime I, if I were to have this shot right here, I would look at it as a 45 degree cut because this ball is on the 45 degree line and this ball is facing the aim point. So I see that perceptually as a 45 degree angle even though it's, it's not necessarily an exact 45 degree angle by any means. But how do we get the 45 degree perception? We know that the edge of the cue ball is actually butted up to the right aim point for the 49. So how do we get the 45? You're going to use that outermost left edge of the cue ball in this case. So I'm directly behind the cue ball and I'm just going to rotate to the left until I first pick up a perception of left edge to uh, C in this case. So I have that perception here. When I drop down and look at this, there is a slight overlap from the left edge to the C or the right quarter. Now, when I move that ball up in, the, in this fashion, there is the slightest of overlaps, which I don't use an angle tool, never have. I just do everything by perception. So there's a, there's a slight overlap by two or three ticks, which creates a, okay, this ball is on the, spot. Okay, so that's about that's about what I see for the 45 right there. And that's that connects up very well with center pocket. But you don't shoot the shot that way in center edge pro one anyway. There's always a pivot. It's always the shot's always thickened or thin. So you're not going to shoot it in that manner. You're not going to shoot it straight ahead like it's a ghost ball or a contact point. The actual, the actual shooting of this shot would have a 45 degree perception, but you would be coming in with an inside sweep, which is actually going to thin the shot up, and then you have some throw that's going to carry you into, uh, uh, carry the ball into a nice entry into the pocket. So what, what I wanted to do here was just give some of the, I just want to augment the material that I already have out there and just give you a little bit more information about how the numbers of 15, 30, and 45 came to be. They, they certainly connect with the geometry uh, of a regulation table. You got the 15, the 30, the 45 degree line, then you have the perceptions of 15, 30, and 45 and to, with CTE Pro 1. They, they connect and when those perceptions uh, the unique perceptions. Now, I, I, I want to emphasize that I did not describe the CTE perceptions. I only wanted to provide some basic information of, of how the these numbers, the 15 and the 30 and the 45, are foundational to the perceptions. Uh, so I felt like it was important to just discuss some specifics about how when you aim with the edge of the cue ball, whether it's the right edge or the left edge of the cue ball, you can give your visual intelligence the idea that, hey, there's a 15 degree perception, there's a 30 degree perception, there's a 45 degree perception. Of course, there's a couple of other variables. The, 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 the center to edge visual, the, the pivot, that is actually a huge part of this.